this is how you change a fan motor on a condenser outside fan motor. First, you unlock the set screw. It's a square nut. It locks on the fan. There you go. So you loosen that up until it's really loose, backed away from the shaft. And then you're either going to grab the hub, never grab the fan blades and turn it because you will bend the blades and it will never operate right after that. Best way to do is grab the hub and sometimes a shaft underneath will have the flat spot and you can take a crescent wrench underneath and catch the shaft. But this one is too short, so I'm going to use another pair of pliers underneath, grab the shaft and turn the hub until it loosens. Now if you have one that's sticking, it's always good to use a little bit of penetrating oil and work it back and forth until it breaks free and then it'll come off the shaft and there you go be careful with the blade do not try to bend it because then you'll throw it off balance now the motor you're going to flip it over and there's usually four nuts of some type that holds the motor onto the top case right here in this case it looks like it's a 7 sixteenths. I'll take it off. And these are screwing onto the small little threaded rods that go through the motor. And they're all pretty much the same, so you don't have to worry about that. Now usually a new motor will come with new nuts if the threads are different size. Essentially, it's not that difficult to change out a fan motor. Take off the nuts. And these are nice acorn nuts. It keeps the water and moisture off the thread. It keeps it from rusting. And there you go. And there's the back of the motor. See the little threaded rods coming through? Most motors are the same size, so you can reuse the acorn nuts. If not, like I said, it has new nuts with the motor. And... We're going to stop this video because putting the new motor on is just as simple. Now I do remind you, when you put the blade back on the new motor, you're going to try to get it down as far down the shaft toward the motor as possible because that creates your airflow. And if you have New, most new motors come with a long shaft, and I've seen people do it under a wear, and they'll put it at the end of the shaft. Well, the blade is further away from the motor, it doesn't create enough airflow. So you want to get the blade as far down the shaft as possible without hitting the motor when it turns. So there you go.